Hi everyone, so uh, this is a quick video sort of about concept art and sketching and stuff and it's about an hour, a little bit less than an hour worth of drawing condensed down to this short video. So the first thing I do is um, I'm familiarizing myself again with what the Iguan are. They're a lizard, lizard man type people in Relic Blade. And uh, so I'm choosing sort of a pose that's not too complicated because I'd like to make this model one piece if I can. Um, now, the witch is supposed to be a female iguan. So I sketch the iguan as they exist, and then now I'm sort of fiddling around with proportions a little bit to try and make it slightly more feminine, maybe. I mean, it's sort of a silly thing that we have to face as artists working in genre. We've got this totally imaginary uh, reptilian creature, and then you have to sort of decide what what will make that a lizard human, and then what qualities of it will translate and end up being a lizard lady. You know, it's it's silly, but... Um, I So I made the base, and now I'm adding some of the details that I'm pretty sure I want. Um, last night when I was falling asleep, I was thinking about the witch character a little bit, and I decided like some ragged dress at the bottom would be good. As far as the top, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, and so I decided to do this uh, concepting process where I'm going to do various iterations of the same uh, character and work through, you know, different ideas and be very loose and freeform with it. So um, here's the first pass, pretty much just throwing clothes on there. And then I duplicate the layer and hide it and then start another thing. And then I remembered that Iguan have tails, so I added the tail there. So uh, right now I'm working through different headdress options, maybe fiddling around with different types of decorations. And, um, and you know, I'm dealing with the fact that lizard men exist in a lot of different uh, fantasy genre settings. You know, they're in D&D, &D, they're in Warhammer, they're in uh, EverQuest and World of Warcraft and everything. And so I've got to decide what I want to reference and what I don't want to reference in some ways. So here you can see I did a feather headdress and then I pretty much immediately erase it. I don't even save it because uh, I, I don't really want to go there. I, I don't want to reference that lizard man type as much. So. I, I go in here and make sort of more of a Conan style headdress and, uh, and then move on. Um, you know, just keeping it loose and fast. Uh, we've got a hood. I started getting sort of a feel of, uh, I can't even remember what it is, but that hood just sort of captured some other uh, fantasy setting that I wasn't crazy about. So we move on. Um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to just explore and and each of those steps that I go through are building on each other. I don't just arrive at a concept uh, right out of the gate, usually. So uh, this is a really fun way to just sketch and sketch and sketch and see what happens. figure if it's a witch, I should at least try a witch hat. <laughs> and then in here, I think this concept is where I start getting a little bit more involved and this is closer to what I end up going with. Um, you know lizard people referencing a lot of different traditions. Here I've got uh, this witch character and I end up going with the headdress that's shaped a little bit more like like a scarf to try and get a little bit more of like a Romani fantasy uh, fantasy gypsy look to it. I don't know. I, You know you definitely don't want to sound racist or sound like you're uh, making some cultures be like subhumans like that's obviously not my intention in any way uh, but I do want to make something interesting and reference kind of a medieval fantasy setting so uh, that's part of the thoughts that go into it anytime you're designing a character um, but I think I, I like where I go here um, more more clothing, more robes. Um, oh, here I go to the side and sort of define what those shapes are a little bit more to try and figure out parts that are just sort of in shadow in the concept and um, 
and would be impossible for someone to totally understand what it is just based on the image. So now I pull up all of the concepts I made um, and I set them all out so that I can go back over what I did and decide if there's anything I want to bring back from those past iterations um, or if there's stuff that you know, just any good ideas that I glazed over or if I want to return to before I really dig into this other witch design. Seems good. I feel good about what I gathered from that process of doing those six designs. And so now I'm going to get in here with this um, and refine it a little bit more. Um, you know, I'm just sketching, I'm still doing loose, I'm doing a sketch. This isn't going to be final artwork that I use for any of the production stuff. Um, but I'll reference it while I'm sculpting. And then again, like, I sculpt my own models. So if I were sending this to a another sculptor to do, which would be great, because um, then I wouldn't, you know, I'd have time to work on other stuff. But right now, I'm sculpting all the models. And so I don't have to be quite as specific as I would be if I was sending this to another artist. But yeah, so I go through and just sort of refine over my sketch, drawing over it in different iterations, figuring out how those uh, ropes around her waist will work and what sort of things I want to add. So I added a potion and a monkey paw and uh, the sheath to the dagger and a little like vampire skull. So there's just fun little details. You know, I try not to go overboard with details and all that stuff might not make it into the final model. But uh, but it's nice. It's good inspiration, at least, to think about what the character's like. Then I'm using uh, different amounts of hatching and value to just sort of define the layers for myself so I know which parts are on top of which other parts. Yeah, so check it out. That's it. That's the, uh, the Iguan Witch concept art that I came at and so that's about an hour of drawing uh, going through different ideas and uh, arriving someplace that I, I, I didn't have in my imagination before and now I have it so it's really a delight to work this way I hope you enjoyed it